Hello YouTube, this is Ambi. Today we will talk about Python overloading, or operator overloading, not Python overloading. So let's start with an example. Yes, yeah, we always do. I don't like theory much. I don't like slides much. Right, so... Right, so if you can see that I am writing a class here. Um, this is a constructor or initializer which initiates function. So this is a cl class named maths inside that I have just a constructor. When I provide an argument x, it initializes that argument. That's what it does. Now let's create an object here. Maths two. Type A, it prints out nothing. Then let me do this, print A. Uh, same thing, right? Now, why is that? Because we can correct that by doing this. So, return f self dot x. Okay. A equals maths 2. All right, A. Now that's where it is. Now let's say print A. That's where it is, right? Then comes, let's take another one here. So when I did print A here, it was able to print 2, but it's printing it as a string. That's a different matter because I included this operator. Operator, this is called operator overloading in Python. Let's take another example before we do this. Let's uh, define A equals maths two, two and B equals maths three, enter. I want to know whether A is greater than B. This statement is true or false. It's going to throw an error because that particular operator, which takes care of this functionality, that is A greater than B or not, is not there. So let's add that operator. That is greater than self. Come on, let's say Y. And that is another uh, object. And what I have to return is I have to return this return self.x greater than y.x. So it will return whether that's true or not. Let's take these two, copy, paste, enter, a greater than b. It's a fault because 2 is not greater than 3. It says it's false, right? So let's let's do another, right? Let's do another for the sake of it. Um, mm, well, before that, let me see what I was trying to do here. Again, that particular option is not there. We can't add stuff. Uh, so we will go ahead and add an operator called add. So whenever you are adding a plus b, one plus two, or one plus three, uh, string concatenation, or doing arithmetic addition, this is what called in the background, right? Self data, let's comma y, and I want to return self dot x plus y dot x. Makes sense, guys. Angles and aliens. A plus B, voila, that works now. So this is called operator overloading. There are a lot of uh, many other operators like that. That is uh, multiplication, module, uh, modulo, uh, subtraction, etc. So that uh, is the basic of it. Uh, the next uh, many other things that we that you have, you can that is for you to explore. So thank you for tuning in. You have a great one. Bye.